Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we got the best Pro-Am lockdown build in next-gen NBA 2K21. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. First thing, obviously, make him a small forward, uh, right-handed or left-hand. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. It's whatever fits your style for the hand. And obviously, jersey number, just pick whatever. So for the height, we're going to go 6'7". 215 pounds with a 7 foot 4 inch wingspan. You see you get boost to standing dunk, block, which is important, uh, some rebounding. You do lose a little strength and some uh, 3 pointer and shooting, but we'll, we'll make up for that later. Body shape doesn't really matter. You can literally go whatever you want, but just like if you go burly, that's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Making a small forward burly, you're just going to look fat. So I go like defined. So, we're going to head right over to the attributes. First thing we're going to put up, or we'll put up the finishing later. We're going to head over to defense because this is obviously a lockdown build. So, perimeter defense all the way up. Steel all the way up as well. Block, same thing. We're putting that all the way up. Block can only get to a 93, which isn't bad. As of right now, you still have 18 like defensive badges. If you don't want to use your rebounding, don't. But I feel like it's important. Uh, in most categories if you don't want to waste it all on that then you don't have to but It's still like you're most likely going to be playing the top if you're playing a 2-3 in pro-am uh, As a lockdown obviously, but it still couldn't doesn't hurt to help to help rebound if you're maybe just like Playing down low for a little your guy you just play man or anything if you're playing man rebounding can help a lot or if you just help on help defense you get sucked into the paint boom you have 95 rebounding you're most likely gonna snag especially with the vertical that we're about to have which I believe is around like a 90 so I would just throw on rebounding just because because it will never hurt you to have rebounding on your build so next we're gonna go up to the physicals and then we're gonna touch the finishing shooting and playmaking we are gonna get some playmaking badges on this build so we do finish off with 27 defensive rebounding badges which is actually really good uh, Intimidator only gets to a gold. Um, if you want Intimidator on Hall of Fame, you could just throw up um, like the defense in here a little bit, but you it, you just can't because you're a small forward. So it is what it is, but your perimeter defense is still a 95. That's all that really matters. Steel, block, and rebounding all there for you. Speed with ball, you're going to throw that up all the way because if you're playing defense on a top in a 2-3 you're most likely either going to be cherry picking or if you get a steal you're going to want to run the break and if you don't have speed with the ball you're going to be running like a 400 pound man on a basketball court you're not going to be moving at all so obviously you want speed with ball passing accuracy obviously if you get the steal throw it up you're not going to put passing accuracy too high you're going to leave it at a 55 so you can get five playmaking badges so you can get the quick first step on gold and then throw on like downhill you could get downhill on hall of fame uh you could throw downhill on like silver because your speed with ball is an 84 so it'll be boosted just a little bit and then for shooting everything up besides free throw free throw obviously you're still gonna upgrade your free throw only to a 70 though so it's a really good free throw 70 is really all you need you still get 14 shooting badges which is really good your 84 three-pointer if you're on offense as a lockdown in a pro-am, you're most likely either sitting on the hash or you're sitting in the corner if you're running like a five wide or if you run a different kind of offense, you're still most, like, like most likely going to be in the corner if you're a lockdown on offense and then play top on defense but or on the hash if anything like that if you can really shoot, um, which 84-3 is really good, but if you can time your jump shot on your team, then maybe your team will put you on the hash or something like that. But heading over to finishing, throw up finishing, driving dunk, and driving layup all the way. And then you're going to throw up standing dunk as well because you get more badges. And it helps when you're under the basket as well because you can also get the, uh, the rise up badge up to gold, which is actually a really good badge. You are only 6'7", but not too many people are running like tall centers in Pro-Am, if any tall centers like in rack center prime nobody's like running a, a center i would say maybe over seven one seven foot like when i've played rec center so far this year um and pro am all i've seen 
is the tallest center I have like personally seen is 611 and I have a 610 center if you guys want to check out my program center build I'll leave it down below uh, in the description and you guys can go check that out if you want to make a center build also but this is it for the potential like upgrades and all that for the badges you get 14 finishing 14 shooting five playmaking and 27 defensive rebounding pretty good attributes i would say so myself and for the takeovers you can get pretty you can get a lot of them um it all depends on how you play uh personally i would go with some sort of lockdown and shooting um i would either go with extreme clamps maybe enhanced jump shot contest or you can go to like two lockdown badges with extreme clamps and perimeter badge drop because if you're going to be playing on the top in the two three like i keep on saying um this would actually help a lot um same thing with the enhanced jump shot contest like um that would like if you're not as close as contesting the shot this would obviously help boost your contest against perimeter jump shots around your area of contest so that would be a good badge i would put on extreme clamps and then either spot a precision because obviously you're gonna be like spotting up when you're shooting most likely because obviously this isn't an iso build it's a pro-am lockdown build obviously you're gonna have your point guard or whatever like ball handler like teammate is obviously most likely gonna iso the majority of the game five wide and you're gonna be spotting ups or you can go limitless range which the badge is like it's not bad but like spot of precision like i've seen a lot of other youtubers say that it's better and it personally i've used it on two of my small forwards and it's actually really good so i'm gonna throw that on there so extreme clamps and spot of precision obviously you could choose whatever takeover you want so obviously you can choose whatever like takeover badges you want but those are the ones i would choose if or when i actually make this build because i am actually going to be grinding out this build because it's a completely insane glitchy build um for the pro-am as a lockdown so you have built a two-way three-level score similar to sean marion jason tatum and mikhail bridges that is fire i would say this is also just like a Kawhi leonard like low-key kind of build i'm not gonna lie but we're gonna go ahead test out the build throw it up on 99 and test out some badges see what you could put on obviously we saw what kind of badges you can get but obviously i would put on posterizer lob city finisher you don't have to throw lob city finisher on hall of fame but if you really want to you can it's not a bad badge but if you just want the animations if you're running a fast break or cutting on the baseline if you're spotting up in the corner you cut throw a lob boom you got it on bronze at least you get the animations you can put on acrobat slithery finisher is actually a very good badge so you could throw that on hall of fame rise up really good badge as well but that's only really for standing dunks but you do have a 79 standing dunk which isn't too bad so if you want to throw that up you can um pro touch is a good badge as well heat seeker if you're finishing inside the paint uh you don't really need back down punisher um so i would personally throw on slithery finisher acrobat and then throw lob city on silver that's what i would personally do for shooting since this is a like obviously i keep on saying this a pro m build i'll throw catch and shoot on silver corner specialist on hall of fame because you're going to be in the corner most likely and then obviously green machine on silver dead eye on gold and then you have three more upgrades so you can either throw up catch and shoot to gold as well and then like green machine on hall of fame but then you also got like hot zone hunter in the corner as well you can keep that on silver and then put it like somewhere else maybe put it on like volume shooter this is what i did with my corner shooter last year these are the batches that i stuck with and so far this year they're working out pretty well for me for my small forward so these are the badges that i would personally go with for playmaking you can go with downhill fully on hall of fame but you you don't like you have 84 speed with ball so i would go a quick step all the way up on gold and then downhill on silver you can go with these other badges but you really don't need them i would say you only have five badges so might as well use them i guess you could say smartly so next to the defensive rebounding i did not click on that now we click on it you get a lot so you get 27 badges clamps hall of fame uh i would personally uh, when i have my lockdowns i throw on defensive leader for my teammates and, and pro am and stuff like that 
but I'm going to throw an Interceptor Hall of Fame, Pickpocket Hall of Fame. Obviously, if you're in a 2-3, you might be getting hit with a lot of screens during Pro-Am, obviously. So I would throw that up too. But personally, I like Pick Dodger is, I feel like it's useless. Like, I've never seen it work. So, you know, and this is reduces the chance of getting crossed over. You, this could be a very good badge. So, I would throw that up on Hall of Fame. Test it out. If you don't like it, don't use it. Uh, rim Protector and Chase Down Orders. Put that on. Put both those on silver because you're going to be able to, um, obviously, block shots. Or you can just go with bronze each just so you can unlock the animations with the 93 block that you do have and then use like it on rebound chaser on silver just so because you, you have a 95 rebounding all you really need is on silver because you're not going to be in the paint too much obviously but if you are down there you do have a very high percentage chance to get it and then also you can go with like heart crushers or like it decreases your teammate or not your teammates your opponents take over when you do a highlight play on defense like a steal block which is pretty much the only defensive highlights you can get so that's good in itself right there so you can either throw it on tireless defenders a good badge as well whatever you really want honestly it's all up to you these are your badge points so just throw it on like pick dodger but personally i don't really like that badge but you can if you want. So I would throw on like Chase Down Artist on Silver and just leave it at that. So that is the best possible Pro-Am Lockdown build you can make in Next Gen NBA 2K21. If you guys like the build, let me know down below in the comments. If there's any changes you would make, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.